Hey guys, good morning from the Canal Street here in New Orleans where the winds continue to howl through these streets. I don't know if you can see and how well you can see the shot behind me here, but I'm about to step into this. Uh, you know, we've been talking about how the wind just kind of funnels through these buildings. And once you get out and through here, it's just a whole different world. I mean, at times the winds can gust pretty strong. Oh man, that's, and the rain is very, very, very hard when it comes down like that. But, I mean, think, you know, I'm taking a beating here down to the ground. Imagine what these buildings are taking as we're just dealing with these sheets of rain and winds that are howling 50, 60 miles per hour. I'm going to ride this one out, guys. I'm going to ride this one out right here. This is probably a better example of what all of southeastern Louisiana is dealing with right now in terms of the wind and rain. It is coming down so heavy, so fast, and so furious. And it's just stinging. I, I gotta step out of this a little bit. Oh. This is when it makes it tough to be a ball man. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, a hair would have been really nice. Anyway, the point is, is stepping out there is, is, is a pretty good example of what so many of these streets uh, across uh, the New Orleans area are dealing with right now in terms of rainfall, in terms of the kind of pounding that we are dealing with. And uh, guys, you know, this is, we're going to be in this for hours. We're on the eastern side of this. We really haven't gotten into the, 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 the eye wall of this. This is just the outer eye wall. It's the core of the storm, and it's certainly the, the beat of it, but the eye wall is certainly something uh, that could produce even stronger winds and it's going to come up uh, just to our west. So again, just another example in case you're just joining us of just how awesome it is when that wind gets venturi tubed through these buildings. It makes it almost impossible to take it head on and even focus on what I'm trying to talk about. So I am going to go in and out of it like this. but. Uh, again, guys, as far as, the, you know, here in uh, Canal Street, the power is on as far as I can see, which isn't very far, maybe about a half a mile. But obviously there are many, many without power. Now we're getting up around 400,000 across Louisiana. And if we're going to deal with this for another 12 to 24 hours, you've got to imagine that we're going to lose a lot more power. The big issue certainly could be the flooding in time, you know, with the rain that's coming down like this. Right now the drains, quite frankly, are taking what Mother Nature is producing as a rainfall rate. So that's the good news. The bad news is uh, I'm just wondering how much longer they're going to be able to take it. So we'll keep you posted here from Canal Street. Right now, let's go back to, to Alan Steph and, uh, and get an idea what's happening well, in French Water. Well, Jim, we're getting pounded pretty well here. We're uh, it, just on the edge of the French Quarter, and, uh, and the wind is just howling. Oh. And we're starting to see a lot of standing water in the street. Yeah, and also a little bit of debris. I haven't seen a lot of significant debris that's flying around just yet, but like, as Jim said, you're, this is a category even right in that eye wall. We're on the outer fringes of it, and this is what it's like. So that's why we always say tropical storms, sometimes these accelerate as you fall. Right. So Jim, as far as you, I, I saw you last night, we were we had switched places. Uh, it's It's obviously changed from just a few hours ago. Oh, big time, Al. I mean, you know, last night at least there was a break. I mean, we could get a break in the rain, we could get a break in the wind, but this is just far worse. I mean, we're in the teeth of this thing now. And it's, you know, again, I, I, I can't even describe what it feels like. It's just like somebody's pelting me with pins this morning on the, on the top of my head out here. You can see how the wind just takes it, accelerates the air through the buildings, and then makes a right turn with the prevailing wind flow from the, from the hurricane. So, oh. Jim, I, 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 I gotta so be Jim, if you can hear me. <laughs> yes. Hey, Jim, we were, we were talking last night, we were talking last night about the pumping system. An hour, for one hour, it can pump an inch an hour, and then a half an inch for, per hour, and then hopefully you get a break and a reset. There's not gonna be any. Right. No. Are it's you concerned out. about it, it, what's going to happen? Absolutely. I mean, you know, it, it, the forecast still holds. 12, 16 inches of rain. 
Uh, additionally, we've done okay, obviously, overnight from what we're hearing. There's obviously some localized areas that are flooding, but I mean, you can see the water. I mean, just since we started this shot, actually, you can see how much more water we've gotten here in the street. It's starting to come up on some of the sidewalks now. Uh, you know, this isn't anything abnormal from what we don't see in a thunderstorm, but, you know, I, I can't imagine what what six or seven more hours of this is going to be like, uh, certainly in this area. Uh, what we saw just down the street, Alan, you mentioned this last night, was the fact that some of the, uh, uh, you know, power crews are actually staging on the rail lines. They're probably about a foot higher out here in the middle of the street. Obviously, that's where the cars run. And they sit up a little bit higher just to avoid this kind of flooding. But all in all, all in all, I mean, there's just not hey, many Jim. people out here at all, and that's probably a good idea. What's up, Steph? Hey, Jim, you What's know, up, let's Steph? talk about this being a Category 1 and what it's like. And are you surprised by the strength and what we're feeling right now? Honestly, this is probably what I would expect for a, for a Category 1. Um, but, you know, I, I think it's, you know, I'm in a, right now I'm completely protected. I talked to you, the winds are picking up a little bit, they can push me around. But when you step out here, this is I, I, just so much more representative of what the teeth of this thing is like. And, you know, you can stand here for about 20 seconds or so and deal with it. But all of a sudden, it just picks up the point where it hurts a little bit. So I'm glad that I'm not too far from the from the break in the wind.